<laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, that's right. Next one. Morning. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ash, this is James with the SDMs here at Custodian. We're following up on a comment from our last video from Fishbait075 saying a network tool would be great, explaining where your feeds come in from the outside world, how they get given out to the racks, and as you're carrying neutral, how customers can pick and have the carrier of their choice delivered to their rack. So we're gonna show you exactly that today. We're actually stood on one of our fiber ducts today, which is where some of our fibers come into the data center onto one of our data floors. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of where they come in, different locations around the site, and then how they actually get to the data center. This is just one of the three diversely routed uh, BT ducts we actually have on site. They're all routed from separate exchanges to give us maximum diversity and security in the case of, say, outside works or something happening underground that's out of our control. And um, we've got, obviously, other carriers on site. We've got BT, we've got Virgin, um, CenturyLink, We've got uh, SSE, so what we'll do is we'll yep. go and stand on top of another duct, show you what the SSE duct looks like, and uh, well, let's go and have a, have a look. Boy. So this is one of the SSE ducts. Um, SSE have their own, uh, chosen their own diversely routed map into the site, so there's more than one route in here, and this is only one of them. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go and take you inside of the DC and show you where the cables actually come inside because um, so it looks a bit different. I can't lift up these for you, but I can show you what it looks like under the floor. Um, so we'll see you in the DC. Cool, so we're in the DC now. Um, and what I'll do is I'll lift one of the tiles, as I explained outside, show you one of the fibres that's coming into the DC. So what you can see here is this is one of the fibre cables that comes in. It's a shielded armoured cable, uh, the yellow one, and then it goes into this big black box. And in that black box is a, uh, a splice tray. And then what happens is they splice their fibre in the DC onto the fibre coming outside, and then it travels through the DC to the provider's rack. Um, I can't open it for you because it's not ours, but this is what it looks like, essentially. And there are m multiple of these underneath the floor, but this was the easiest one for me to get to, to show you. So what we'll do now is we'll go to the provider rack and show you what a provider rack looks like and talk about how some of the fibre services actually come in for them. So I was going to show you in front of one of the carrier racks, but currently we've actually got someone in at the moment working on a carrier rack specifically, so we're just going to come back to that later on in the video to show you. We're going to move on to the next bit now. So we're at one of our patching locations, and this location brings in some of the fibres from outside and customer fibres towards our equipment specifically. And so this, what this allows us to do is get between different sites within the data centre um, so we can connect to all the different rooms that we have. As we quite, have quite a few floors, um, this is one of the essential parts to the infrastructure that we have here. Um, so if we now go to some of our equipment, we can talk a bit more about how it eventually actually gets there. So what we have here is a newly deployed customer rack and we are delivering some fibres to them. 
what we do is we drop the fibres into the rack from the trays above that you can see above us. We also drop copper into the racks as well, so depending on what the customer orders is, depending on what they get. And uh, we can deliver any type of fibre, multi-mode, single mode, and any kind of connectors they like, um, they just need to ask. So if you was coming from the customer rack to the carrier rack, all that happens is we run those cables up onto the trays and just take the most diverse route possible to the carrier rack. If they need to be diverse specifically, so they say they take two connections, we can also run the connections under the floor as well, or we can take a different tray route around the building. Um, so it just depends on what it is that their requirements are. So in addition to what James is explaining, I just want to explain something about the different carriers we have on site. The carriers that bring fibres in, they pay to have roads dug up, fibres brought in, they light it at each end, they do all of that, but we can also provide that service. If you have a carrier that you need to get into your rack here in Maidstone, or even at one of, the, one of our other pops, it's easy enough to do, because we can pick them up in London, for instance, and then using our dark fibre network at a fraction of the cost, get it back to your rack. Because we've got a dark fibre network, you could have, for instance, Colt on the end of this fibre, but Colt haven't had to dig up a road, they've not had to dig up a hard car park, they've not had to put their own rack in with their own kit to light it. We're doing all that and we can get it back to your rack delivered on whatever presentation you need. It could be a 100 meg copper or a 10 gig fibre. You know, we, we can present it how you want it, make it happen through our network and the cost is significantly cheaper than you ordering a circuit at like 10 grand set up plus X amount a month or whatever. So it's always an option that you've got with us using our dark fiber network. Okay, so we're back now after the engineers have been doing what they're doing. We're in front of one of the uh, racks for one of our providers. And as you saw before, underneath the floor, we had that large splice blocks. Well, one of those cables ends up underneath one of these racks. But what happens is they then take those fiber cables into further splice boxes within the rack and then they are then spliced onto another type of fibre cable which then go into NTEs. Those NTEs are just like little cards that go into a multi-chassis and you can pick up a fibre or copper connection from those and then that's how the carrier delivers the circuit onto a piece of cable for a customer. So the same kind of thing that we do where we deliver a cable to a customer with the service on, it's the same thing for the provider. So all we do then is if there's uh, an order, we literally just run a cable on the top of those cable trays we showed you from the customer rack to the service provider rack and plug it in for them. Okay, so we're back at uh, where we started off today, back at the BT ducts. Um, it's worth noting that Custodian have our own um, dark fibre that goes all the way up to London diversely. Um, we actually light it ourselves using a uh, DWDM system. Um, so we have complete control over that diverse fibre connection up to London. Um, in London we have multiple sites um, across London itself and we light each part of that dark fibre network um, between the sites. What that allows us to do is we can connect whatever we like to those dark fibres and get it back to Maidstone or another place in London. So, for example, if you're here in Maidstone and you can't get connectivity from a specific supplier, we can pick it up in London for you and then deliver it to Maidstone however you need it to be, whether that be on a 100 meg circuit, 1 gig, 10 gig, whatever it is that you need, that's what we do. Okay, so you may or may not have noticed the satellite dishes sat just behind us here. These are actually connected to customers in the data centre. Some of these broadcast locally some of them broadcast further afield one of which is actually broadcast into Australia so we connect these up to customer racks the coaxes go under the floor into their rack and they do all their stuff with various bits of kit be it a server a skybox whatever they then connect it all up and just broadcast over them so it is something that are still in use they use today and we've got more available if, if a customer ever needs them we can also get more in should the need arise so Hopefully that's given you a bit of an insight into the network, uh, the diversity, how the routes work, um, how fibres come into the building. If you've got any more requests like that, as you've seen, we're more than happy to kind of accommodate what people want to see. So 
let us know in the comments below if there's anything else you want to see uh, stuff that we haven't covered already so just check our, our channel just in case we've already covered it um, so yeah thanks for watching leave a like leave a comment share it and we'll see you in the next video cheers guys